Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's M again, and I'm going to be doing a boxy charm unboxing for you guys. Of course, I've already opened it. I already played around with some stuff in there. I did not do my makeup with the intention of using these products, but I did put a little bit of the eyeshadow from the eyeshadow palette on which is really, really pretty, but it's dark here with these lights. You can't really see it. Anyways, but it's really pretty. I did do some swatches and took a picture of it so that you guys could actually see the colors better instead of doing it while I'm on camera talking to you. And then you get to see swatches of all of the co colors. I don't know. All of the colors. I can't talk. Anyways. When you open it up, this is what it looks like. Um, the card that came in it this month. Of course, they have went to this trifold thing, which is awesome. Oh, I didn't even see variation one. So, I got variation one this month. Um, I did not do my BoxyCharm unboxing last month because honestly I thought that I was going to cancel this subscription and another subscription and I was going to get a skincare subscription. But I'm glad that I didn't because I absolutely freaking love this month's box. Okay, so this month's theme is Caribbean Queen, which is awesome. I love the tropics and the beach and all of that so this is my box for sure okay we're not going to go into all the products there on the card i will just do it this way so this is what it looks like first thing on top is these three luxie brushes which i freaking love because i'm trying to build my brush collection so that is thumbs up for me um next i have this ofra long lasting liquid lip in the shade Verona. I guess that's how you say it. Verona. Anyways, I'm wearing it now. I figured why not put it on. It's kind of nudie, but a little bit darker. I like it. And I really like Ofra's formula. They have a great formula. So, I mean, it's a tad bit sticky but I just put it on not too long ago so it's probably not dry all the way and then the next thing that I see in here is Baddington lashes and these lashes are silk lashes and aren't they just so freaking beautiful I don't do lashes because honestly I'm freaking horrible at it but I think that I might start trying to wear lashes. We'll see how it goes. That's, I mean, this is the whole reason why I got the subscription boxes to begin with, is to build my makeup collection because I really didn't have a lot and I don't really do a lot of makeup. I mean, I just started doing, I'm 35 and I just started doing my eyebrows a year and a half ago. Yeah, a year and a half ago, two years, I just started doing my eyebrows, so... I didn't really care. I was just like, ah, just throw some mascara, some eyeliner on, maybe some eyeshadow, lip gloss, I'm out the door. And that was my routine. As you can see, it's not really changed much. So I'm hoping with all the eyeshadow palettes and everything that I'm getting that I, cause I really love eyeshadows. So I'm hoping that I'll get better at that stuff. And okay, enough of that. Next thing in here, which some of these were, I'm not even going to try to pronounce these words because I'm just going to freaking butcher them. Yeah, never mind. I'm not even going to try it. But anyways, it is an eyeliner pencil. An eyeliner pencil. And it is in the shade Dark Brown. Which is awesome because I'm tired of getting black. And honestly, I haven't been wearing any eyeliner really because it's summertime and... I want sparkly, shiny, fresh, not dark kind of makeup. Anyways, and then here we go to our little tiny bum bum cream, which 
smells so freaking heavenly. Oh my God. Like I've already lifted it up and smelt it. Oh, somebody, somebody else was talking about it and they said it smelled like, um, coconut frosting. Yeah. Coconut frosting. It's not like over coconutty, but it smells like, like you're at the beach. Mm. You just can't stop smelling it. Mm. It just smells so good. Okay. Ah, go back on lid. And last but not least, this is, I don't know, it probably is my most favorite thing in the box, but the palette this month, which I have to say out of all of the palettes that I have gotten in any of my BoxyCharms since November of 2017, that's the first month that I got BoxyCharm, this has got to be the best palette. The next one after that would have to be the ColourPop palette. I like the ColourPop palette so much, I actually bought two more of them. Anyways, look at those colors. They are just so beautiful. These colors are just the mattes. They're okay. I mean, they don't get me wrong. They're freaking awesome. But the shimmers in here. And, of course, these two colors right here, this aqua and this blue, I'm probably not going to wear because my eyes are like blue, green, hazily. They're light. So, I probably won't be wearing those colors. But, well, if I don't wear them, I might pass. I might just take the little pans out and pass them to, like, my sister or my stepdaughter, or my new daughter-in-law, maybe. I don't know. These colors are so freaking awesome. The green color, cilia, I think it's cilia. I can't, I'm not even going to try to pronounce any of those colors because I'm not Latina. So, anyways, this palette is just freaking awesome. Absolutely love it. Olimar Cosmetics. Really love this palette. Okay, so that's what I got in my BoxyCharm this month. Um, I will also put right here how much the box was totaled, the retail value of every product in the box, what the total was for that. But yes, I absolutely love this box. Yay! I'm so glad that I did not cancel. But yeah, hopefully next month's box is just as good. So, until next month. Bye, guys.